Hey everybody, Mr. Quick here. Today we're going to look at Eureka Math slash Engage New York Math Module 1 Lesson 24, Percent and Rates per 100. When we talk about percent, there's a percentage sign right there, what we really mean is per 100, meaning if you have a number, if you have, let's say, 5%, that means that that is 5 out of 100 right? So any number we can look at, even if the total isn't 100, we can look at that as if it were out of 100 to make things um, equal and easier to compare. Let's get started with some examples. Let's give an example. For starters, what we have here is a 100s chart. We know it's 100 because we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 per column, and there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 per row, 10 times 10 gives us 100. So in this chart, there are 100 uh, blocks, let's say. Now, in our example, let's say we want to buy a coat. The coat is uh, $100. We're going to start with an easy amount here. But hey, it's our lucky day. They're having a uh, sale, and it's going to be a certain percentage off. We're going to say 20% off. How much would our total coat be? Well, we know that in this chart there are 100 blocks. So if each block represented $1, then this entire chart would represent $100. We want to know how much it would be if we took away 20%, meaning 20 per 100. So we're going to go ahead and take away 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, that's a little easier to see. Now, the 20 percent that we just took off, we're not paying that, right? It's 20 percent off. So we don't have to pay for the section in red, but we do have to pay for the rest of it, which would be the other 80%, right? If you have 100%, which would be the whole thing, we're taking 20% off, that means you have 80% left. So if I know that each of these columns represents 10, I know we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. We have 80 left. 80% is what we're going to pay. 80% of 100 is $80. So we would pay $80. Let's continue with this example, shall we? So we know that this part that is colored in in red is 20%. We know that the rest of it is 80 percent. So we could also look at this in terms of ratios. If we wanted to do a ratio from red to, I know this has a little bit of a, a tint to it, but we'll just call it white. Red to white. We know that there's 20, um, 20 blocks or 20 percent filled in. 80, that it would be white or not filled in. So our ratio would be 20 to 80. If we wanted to do red to the total blocks, we know there's 20 filled in, but we know the total, which is all the white blocks and all the red blocks, would be 100, 20 to 100. If we wanted to say the white unfilled in portion to the red, we'd be looking at 80 to 20. And if we wanted to do white to the total, it would be 80 to 100. Now, let's say, for instance, you bought that coat, looks good, looks good on you, kid, and you say, you know what, I'm going to go buy a shirt to match the coat, to go with the coat. So you go back and you want to find a good looking shirt, and they have, in their collection, they have red shirts, they have green shirts, and they have blue shirts. And wouldn't you know it, based on um, what we're talking about today, they had exactly 100 shirts. So we're going to say that 
the blue shirts, they had 25 blue shirts. We're going to say red shirts, they had 30. And we're going to say that green shirts, they had a ton of, they had 45 green shirts. Now, if I ask you to fill out a chart, much like this hundreds chart here, uh, with these shirts, this information over here, would you be able to do it? I think you would. What would make sense, though, would be to actually color code our information. For example, if we start with red, I'm going to fill in, I know that each of these columns is 10, I'm going to fill in exactly three columns because 3 times 10 is 30 with red. Let's do that now. Okay, now I've done that, which means we have 30 of our 100 blocks filled in red. And so let's look at that. We could look at that a few different ways. First of all, that is oops, 30% filled in red. That is also 30 out of 100 as a fraction, which we can simplify to 3 tenths. Okay, And 30 to 100 total, if we wanted to say how many are red out of the, compared to the total number of shirts. All right, so let's do green. 45 green. Let's go for it. Okay, now we said 45 green. You'll notice that I filled in 10, 20, 30, 40, and then now we need to fill in 41, 42, 43, 44. 45 are green. 45 out of 100, which means 45%. That would be 45 out of 100 total as a fraction, and that would be... Um, 45 as a ratio, 45 to 100 total. That leaves us with 25 in blue. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I'm going to add this whole column, which is 10 more, and this whole column, which is 10 more, which is 25 total. I'll do that real quick. Now, that gives us 25% blue. That gives us 25 out of 100, which is also equivalent to 1 fourth. It also gives us 20, oops, 25 to 100 as a ratio. One other thing I want to point out with each of these is that when you have 30% red, for example, you can also write that as a decimal, which is 0 0.30. When you have 45% green, that would be 0.45 or 45 hundredths, right? 45 hundredths, 45 out of 100, get it? And then blue, 25 would be 0.25. Now, question. If I were to change, let's say, four of the blues. Now let's say they got a new shipment in. So now we have four oranges. And I want to add orange. That would be... 4% because it's 4 out of 100. And if I were going to write that as a decimal, it would not be 0.4. That is incorrect because remember, after a decimal, you can add zeros. So that would actually be 40%. So we would have to say 0 0.04. Think about this. If this represented, this whole thing represents a dollar and each one of these is one cent, if you have four cents, how would you write it? There you go, 0 0.04 or 4 hundredths. All right, we're going to go through uh, one more quick example here. We're going to look at a percentage. I'm going to give you one. We're going to say 6%. That's how you write it. If I ask you to write that as a decimal, I'm hoping that right now you're not thinking 0 0.6 because that's actually 60%. doesn't work. Think about it in terms of money, right? You always fill in two spaces. Well, if you have only 6%, then it's 0 0.06 or 6 hundredths. If I asked you to write this as a fraction, I'm hoping you would write 6 one hundredths. 
I'm also hoping that you would realize that you could simplify that by dividing by 2, and you could also write that as 3 fiftieths, which would be in simplest form. If we were going to write a ratio, hopefully you would be writing 6 to 100. If I asked you to fill out 6 pieces to the total number of pieces, and if I asked you to model it in our hundredths chart, I'm hoping you would fill in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 parts. Now, let's flip that on its head. Let's say I asked you the percentage, decimal, fraction, ratio for everything that was not filled in. Well, if 6% is filled in, that leaves us with 94% not filled in. 0.94 or 94 hundredths, 94 one hundredths as a fraction, and 94 to 100 if we're comparing what's not filled in to the total. All right, we've got three examples here. I've whited out some portions. I want to go rapid fire. We've got to fill out percent, decimal, fraction, and ratio. You see over here we have one, two, three, four, five, six parts filled in. Out of one, two, three, four, that would be 10 total. So our ratio, well, wait a minute. We have six to 10, but I thought percent meant out of 100. So if we have six tenths filled out, We've got to multiply by 10 to give us something out of 100. 6 times 10 would be 60. So that gives us 60%. They've given us 0.6 as our decimal. If you said 0 0.60, that would be fine as well. If you said 60 one hundredths, you'd be correct. You could also say 6 tenths. And as a ratio, you could say 60 to 100. 600% means we have six. 100% would be one whole, right? 600 out of 100, and that's a six to one ratio. We would also fill out, not parts of the whole, we would fill out six whole boxes. Finally, down below here, we have 32 out of 100, so we know that that would give us 32% and 0.32. Okay, those are quick examples. I know we went through that fairly quickly, but we're going to do uh, a lot more of this in class, and we'll talk more about it when I see you guys face-to-face. -face. Uh, thank you for watching.